Now, renewable energy production is vital in achieving our net zero goals. But what happens when the sun doesn't shine or say the wind doesn't blow? Well, Hydrostore has the answer. Their unique and patented long duration storage technology allows operators to draw on clean energy that can cut carbon pollution at scale. And I'm glad to say that I'm joined today by John Norman. John, it's great to have you here in the studio with us. First off, I wonder if you could talk us through the genesis of Hydrostore's proprietary energy storage technology, because it sounds fascinating. Yeah, Hydrostore was founded 12 years ago with the goal of improving a really well-known form of energy storage, which is using compressed air. And all you really do with compressed air is you're taking off-peak electricity, you're running it through a compressor, you're storing high-pressure air underground, and then you're running that air through a turbine to generate electricity when the grid needs it. What we've done, though, is we've improved that traditional, very well-proven approach to one that does not require any fossil fuel usage as a heat source, so our heat is just generated by our compressor. And very, very critically, we don't have to use salt caverns, which is typically uh, the basis for traditional compressed air. That gives us tremendous siting flexibility, so we can locate this resource right on the grid where it's required. And starting the company 12 years ago has given us a real head start as well to allow us to have a commercially available solution today as the grid needs it. So John, what advantages does Hydrostore's tech have over the more traditional long duration storage methods? Well, what the grids relied on to date is really batteries or pumped hydro storage. And the challenge with those is they're either very expensive or very difficult to construct, permit, and, and operate, and very often both. In the case of Hydrostore's advanced compressed air, what we're able to do is we're commercially proven, so we're available today for the grid. We have very long lifespan, and we can be flexibly sited. Therefore, we can actually provide the lowest cost form of long duration energy storage and be readily sited, readily permitted, and provide the solution to the grid today. There are two buzzwords that we're hearing a lot about uh, within this sector, and that is resilience and reliability. Why are they important and how can Hydrostore Solution build these qualities into our clean energy output? Well, there's a number of things happening on the grid today. It's changing very, very quickly. So already, even in the absence of really aggressive decarbonization policies that are already taking place in a lot of electricity grids, a lot of the conventional power infrastructure was hitting end of life. So the whole grid is transforming now. And renewable energy, which is really one of the cheapest and cleanest forms of energy, really does require a backup. So it requires a whole scale rethink of how the grid is operated and really, really massively uh, increasing the value of long duration energy storage to provide that backup. And Hydrostore is really well suited to that because since we can flexibly site and we provide a very large scale solution that's very similar to that conventional generation, we can actually just co-locate where some of those coal plants and natural gas plants are retiring and provide the grid of the future as a backbone. Now you do have a lot of projects in the pipeline. What can you tell us about them? Well, we have a commercially operating asset that's been in place since 2020 in Canada. Uh, and that's proven out the technology, the basis, and allows us to have a fully bankable solution today. And on the back of that, we have very advanced projects in California and Australia at the multi-hundred megawatt, 200 to 500 megawatt scale, more than eight hours of duration, which are going to be in construction starting next year. So this gives us a really strong head start. We're very focused in North America, Australia, and Europe now and we have over 7,000 megawatts of projects that are in a pipeline currently being developed, including in the UK, where the policies for long duration energy storage are evolving very rapidly, and we're looking forward to taking advantage of them with really billions of pounds of investment for each of these projects. So what's exciting you about the future within this sector? Just the scale of the change and the, the pace of the change. We have a real need for decarbonization of the grid. I got into this industry because I want to find clean technology pathways for the future, make our grid future-proof. 
the market for long duration storage is becoming just massive now. So the opportunity is huge and compressed air is a really, really key element of that solution set. And we're looking forward to providing it. John Newman, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you.